guys welcome back to some more afk arena today we're over on the test server 76,000 diamonds we're going to do some summons over here guys actually did a couple summons for the awakened version of belinda we got lucky we pulled two copies we also do have a couple copies in there of the awakened version of thane so light bear is doing pretty good now i burned through all of my cards i'm going to use my resources in here this account over on the test server guys as much as i would love to use it more um, we don't do a ton over here, which is why we accumulate so much loot over here. You, you do get a lot. This is where I run all of my tests, um, all of the heroes and everything until they come up on the global server. So we can kind of see what is coming. So chest of wishes, we have a couple. I do the events over here. 15 Stargazer cards just chilling in here. Now we have been looking for Halos. We're going to continue to be building out Halos. Um, also, we haven't gotten any copies of Palmer yet. I know over here again, I think I have one copy of Palmer right now. We had a couple different chests over here, but we got a lot of scrolls. Again, a lot of events, a lot of things going on over on the test server, guys, including six of these. Now, I'm going to do three and three just because red chest is super important. Um, so is our engraving mats. Again, just kind of saving these. We also do have a couple keys. Um, 18 elite stones. Boom. Let's see what we get out of here. Anything good? Got a copy of Mahira, so not too bad. We have Sonya out of there. We have Silas in there, Antandra, um, Kelthar, Rosaline. So a couple of heroes that we do still use in there. We have one stone, which is usually a copy of Hodgkin, is usually not anyone um, of the Awakened variety as much as I would love to get more of those. But let's see, guys. I think that'll add a couple more stars on a few heroes. And I'm hoping with the summons that we can pull... Some Awakened Heroes, at least one is what I'm hoping. Again, over here, we're still building out Halos. Um, who do we have built here? I know here, Alna, we do not have built at all. So we do not have Alna on Lucretia I built over here. But Alna, we do not have. Um, but again, we're building up some copies of Halos. Even have Taylene right there. Even the original Taylene. I, I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to try for Ulna. Just kind of sticking true um, to a regular build. You know what? I'm going to do Halos. I'm going to do Halos just because um, it's a little bit out of the norm. We're going to go for it, guys. I'm going, to, I'm going to go all in for Halos after we do our summons. Again, Temple of Time. We got two copies, which is good. 102 Stargazer cards right here. But as you can see, we have a lot of scrolls to use over here, guys. I'm hoping again... Celestials, Hypogens, Awaken Heroes. I would love to see at least one over here on the test server. And it could be Belinda. If we get Belinda, we'll actually build her up. I got her at Legendary just to see exactly how well she works. Um, wasn't too disappointed. She actually did pretty well in the Light Bear Tower. Um, I pushed quite a few floors without even using the trial version of her. It still did work incredibly well. It, it, it was... Pleasantly surprised with how well she did work. All right, so it looks like a little bit more food. And I have a lot of copies of a lot of heroes over here, guys, that we can absolutely build out. 213 common scrolls. This will be our elite pull, which is just a single, but it is a copy of Damon. And I also don't have very many five-star heroes over here. That's the other thing, guys, is there is or quite a few heroes that we do want to build out to five stars. There's a copy of Palmer, guys. That is our second copy, I believe, of Palmer. We, we got one earlier, so yeah, that is our second one, which means we need two more. We need two more copies of Palmer. There's a copy of Raku. Raku is still used for a lot, guys, even though not really used um, Cursed Realm, Twisted Realm any longer, but he is still being used in the campaign formations. Campaign, I know campaign isn't very prevalent anymore. It seems like less and less players are really pushing the campaign. The loot in there really needs to be revamped in my opinion. Um, if they did something with the campaign to make it really viable again, I feel like it would be a lot better. I, I feel like a lot more players would spend time within the campaign. And there we go, guys. There's another elite, which is a copy of Granite. Granite, of course, you want Mythic with the plus 30 signature item. That is really the ideal build. Another copy of Kren, like we were saying earlier. Kren's been replaced, unfortunately, in a majority of the teams with the Awakened version of Baden. Another copy of Granite right there. 
Again, we've seen a lot of substitutions and replacements as we continue to build out these Awakened Heroes. And finally, a double, guys. It is Hodgkin and Athelia. I love the copy of Athelia, you guys. That will save me 250,000 Challenger tokens, um, which is absolutely a very, very big addition right there. She's an older hero. She's actually the first, I believe, the first Celestial hero that we had, um, but still does incredibly, incredibly well if she is built out. Built out, she does really well. Copy of Mishka. And again, Mishka, guys, campaign-wise, seeing a lot of utility everywhere else, um, not really that much anymore. We're seeing a lot of these heroes kind of drop out of most of the meta formations. Short of the campaign. There we go. There's Palmer and Sonya. Double pull right there, guys. And our final one gives us just some more resources. Let's see if we can get one more copy of Palmer. We can get one more copy of Palmer. We can actually build him out. We can build him out a little bit higher. Let's see if we can pull it. Copy of Lucius. Second one is Estrilda. Unfortunately, not another one. All right, guys, hey, loss. 102, we have 77,000 diamonds. That is right. Let's see if we can get some more copies of this guy. First pull, guys, gives us a copy. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can get the diamonds as well. I would love to see the diamonds. There's a Graveborn card right there. Another copy of Halos. That is already two in, what, 40 cards? That's a pretty good probability rate so far. Wilder card. We got a Mauler card in there. Of course, getting a lot of resource chests. And there's another copy. What are we, 80 cards in? That's three copies of Halos, guys. Another Light Bear card. Hoping it's Palmer. Use our two three cards here, just some more resources. All right, let's get into the diamonds. Come on, there we go. That is four copies already. Stargazer just some days absolutely on fire, some days you don't get any love whatsoever, guys. This should be our copy pull. There it is, guys. That is five copies so far. 32K left. Double! We got a single to a double. Look at that. That's what? Five, six, seven? I think that's seven copies of Halos already, guys. Incredible. That is incredible to get that many copies of him. Awesome. That is absolutely awesome to see. Also got a lot of faction cards out of there. Final pull here. Wow. Let's look at those copies, guys. One, two, three copies of Halos right there. Boom. Look at that. And there's also another copy down there. Absolutely building them up pretty fast. That goes from, what, Elite Plus to Mythic, just like that. Which means that we get a signature item. I know he was a hero, guys, that I had been looking to build on here for a while. Again, I'm sort of getting away from the campaign. And I know a lot of players are kind of in the same boat. But getting away from the campaign and focusing a lot more on building... The Cursed Realm Heroes, the Cursed Realm and the Twisted Realm Heroes is what a lot of, again, a lot of players have been doing. There we go, guys. There's this plus 30 signature item. Wow, that is awesome. So we're one copy away from Mythic Plus. We're, what, four more, so five total to get him ascended. And then, of course, seven to get him the one star because you want to get this plus 60 engraving, guys. It is huge. It is huge when it comes to building these heroes out. Elder Tree, still a little bit of a struggle. 
And of course, guys, over here, it is completely free to play. Um, can't put anything and don't put anything into the test server. So Palmer, it looks like we're going to get some free loot out of there. It's pretty cool to see we're one shy of getting him built up a little bit more. And of course, we have all of our resources. I'm just going to pop these open. And then we'll also use the cards that we have in here. See if we can get that last copy of Palmer. Copy of Scrag. Byra and Kennedy Palmer. It is Sonia again. It's already double copies of Sonia, guys. Look at all the tier stones we have. Literally, I have tier three and tier four stones like crazy over here. Which I could get Palmer out of the Misty Valley. I haven't completed the Misty Valley yet. Um, could definitely get there. Let's check out our beast situation. Six, six. Now we have what? These two. Fib Blade Ridge, the Polar Beast, and the Feline. Do we have any copies of either of these? Remember, we're trying to get them to six, guys, is which we're looking for. So Blade Ridge, Polar Beast, and Vespero. Blade Ridge, Polar Beast, and we'll swap this out for... You know what? I'm going to get those two up because that'll take me to six. I'm going to keep Wing Lion in here. That is why we put them in here before. See what we can do here with our spices, guys. Boom, copy of the winged lion. Double copy of the winged lion. Triple copy of the winged lion. They are wanting me to level up this winged lion, guys, like crazy. And a polar beast. There we go, guys. All right, so let's see where we have our polar beast at. Wing lion, two, two, and two. Ripple copies of the winged lion. All right, so Polar Beast will go ahead and level one up there, which, again, we just need, what, another one to take him to six? So let me grab one Polar Beast. That will take him up to six. Then we need, what, two? I need two copies in here of Blade Ridge. We probably could have saved him to see which one we um, happened to get first. But now I just need one copy of Blade Ridge. And we can swap someone in there because remember when they resonate, um, the rest of these are going to be reset. So they're going to give me some spices back. Can't believe we got that many of the Winged Lion. So we need one more copy. Which we don't even have enough for a pull. Not sure if we have any more. Might have training in here. There we go. I'm gonna say there, there was something in here. So all of our rare beasts are fully done, almost done with grassy orb, or almost done with the rest of the beast, guys. Poken for the furniture. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, guys. We have 215,000 poke coins. It's been a long time since I have um actually went through here and did my furniture summons. I'm gonna have to figure out exactly who we're gonna summon in here. Because we almost have a quarter million um. We almost have a quarter million poke coins in here, guys. Which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Again, I'm going to have to go down here. We're going to have to figure out our rooms. I'm going to have to build everything out. Then we're going to have to hit up the workshop. Do some summons. Build this out. Figure out my wish list for who we have and who we're building out of here, guys. So again, I'm going to save those because that's going to take us a considerable amount of time. But guys, that'll do it for today's video. I um, wanted to knock this out. That way we have a lot of other heroes. Got a lot of copies of Halos, which was very, very cool to see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.